All right, welcome back to C Turbo Addicts channel. Um, got a little trial run here. I have removed the lower unit. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, you kind of know that I've been having some issues here. And uh, one of those things was that I wasn't getting water from my Telltale uh, down here. When I was cranking the engine, it would uh, it would go ahead and flow. But as soon as I stopped cranking and it would fire, uh, which I was having trouble with it starting um, The water would immediately stop and there was a whine coming from the lower unit So doing a little investigation here um, I pulled my plugs Last week and found or two weeks ago and found what looked like water in the cylinders so I had pulled the port side Exhaust plate off and went all the way down to the baffle inside. There's uh, the outside, the inside, and then the deep inside plate. And I uh, resealed it all up. I, you know, blocked it all out the best I could, you know, for doing work here at home with sandpaper. And um, sealed it all up with 5200. Now, I don't advise doing that to anyone. Um, this is just trying to basically eliminate that being the cause of the water intrusion. Um, because if that is not it, there's only two other places, which would be the lower um, main seal on the uh, lower cap, which I had replaced that those seals and actually put an additional seal in there. Um, or I've got a crack somewhere in the block, uh, which would mean probably the demise of this motor. So, uh, I put it all back together. I gave it a full eight days to cure. I put new gaskets on everything and decided to not run it without water completely. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I've got the hose hooked up. The water is off at the moment. I'm going to start it without it and then I'm going to introduce water while it's warming up uh, to see what could be going on here. So if it doesn't start, it doesn't start, but set you guys down here. I'll let you take a watch. I'm gonna prime it up and choke the shit out of it. What I've got fuel. I had the motor laying down. Now I've got fuel dumping out down there. See? Son of a bitch. All right, so hang on, let me mess with that. All right, I got that leaking carb fixed. Let's try and fire. Well, that was exciting.
degrees out here right now.
actually started. So that surprised me, I didn't do that before. Um, I got a little water leaking from the back of that telltale. seeing that six is the hardest one to get to I'm gonna pull them out um, I shut it down one more time after revving it up a little bit um, and it wouldn't start again for me it just kind of cranked over tried to kick tried to kick and then nothing so I'm gonna pull them out I'm gonna start with number five and let you take a look at them There's number five. Here's number four. As you can see, they are wet. I'm not sure with what yet, though. They're definitely wet. It doesn't look like droplets to me. Here's number three. Number two. Let's stop shaking. And finally, number one. Come on. I'm gonna put these angled towards the sun and get a little closer view on them. going to find out. Just stare at them. They don't smell like fuel to me. And if you look right there, Come on. <sighs> it don't smell like fuel to me. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to crank the motor over with the plugs out and I want to see if there's any steam or mist or anything that shoots out of there. Um, just to look. I don't know. can't see when I'm cranking by myself. 